This week, we're gonna show you how we transformed this cute little 1980s hutch and brought it up to speed with the latest mid-century modern trends. Stay tuned. Welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. If you're new here, welcome. My husband and I started flipping furniture last year when he lost his job due to COVID and we've been flipping some furniture ever since. We're happy to have you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let us know where you're tuning in from. This week, I've got a really fun flip to show you guys. We found this piece on Facebook Marketplace. I could not resist this cute little hutch when I found it. So follow me out to the garage and we'll show you what we did to take this dated cabinet and bring it up to speed to the latest MCM style. I'll see you out there. Here's what we started with. I picked this little cutie up from Facebook Marketplace. It was owned by an older couple who had had it for quite a while and they had had it listed for quite a while and they were ready to move it. So we got a pretty good deal on it, which was great. I immediately saw its potential and that it could be changed and updated into something else. So I snapped it up right away. There was nothing to be fixed on it, just very dirty, needed a good clean. But other than that, there was nothing to wood fill or drawers to fix or anything like that. Made for a really quick, easy flip. I knew right away that we were going to wallpaper the inside of this with some really cute Art Deco wallpaper. So the best way I have found to put wallpaper inside a cabinet is to remove the backing off of the cabinet. You watched us do this in a few other flips that I will also link above if you're interested in going back and seeing those. But the easiest way to do it is to take the back off. After we've got the back off, then I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a light scuff sand with a 220 grit sanding pad. This will just help prepare everything for the paint. We're gonna go ahead and tape up all of this glass. Oh yes, all of this glass. There was a lot of glass on this cabinet to tape. <laughs> We decided to go with Sherwin-Williams color of the year for 2022 called Evergreen Fog. We use it in their chalk paint formula. This is just a very pretty sagey green with a little bit of gray undertone in it. It makes for just a really nice warm inviting cabinet and it's really really great color that's in style right now. Sherwin-Williams chalk paint offers great coverage with just one pass through but we did wait for this to dry completely. Go over it with a 220 grit sand pad to knock down any bumps or unevenness in the paint surface and then went over it one more time with a second coat.
I picked up this super cute peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it in the comments below. I'm excited for you to see what this looks like. I will tell you that peel and stick wallpaper is a little tricky. I have never been one that's been good at wallpapering in general. So, hey, if you're really good at it, you'll have no issues with this. If you're not, it helps to have a second pair of hands to help you and just to line everything up and guide it and press it down as you go. I love to use my little Pampered Chef scraper. If you have one of these, it works great for peel and stick wallpaper. That's what you see Chris using to make sure everything is down and smooth and perfect. It does get little bubbles in it along the way and that's what you have to try to press out with the um, pan scraper here. But all in all, it, it's easy once you get the hang of it. This is our third time doing it. It definitely took us a lot less time this time around. I would say all in all, it took us maybe 45 minutes to get this whole piece laid. Obviously, I sped it up so you guys weren't bored to death watching us do this, but it turned out really great. It is easy to line up and um, yeah, a second pair of hands will really help in this process if you have them. watched our channel for a while you know that we like to poly coat everything in the Minwax Helmsman Spar Urethane. This works really well in our HVLP spray gun. I like to use it in the satin finish. It just leaves such a very nice finish on everything. We normally do two coats on everything. Once the first coat is dry we will go over everything with a 220 grit sanding pad to knock down any bumps again and then a second coat just to make sure everything is very nice and smooth. I love to use Rust-Oleum flat gold spray paint on anything I'm going to be turning into MCM so these knobs are no exception. I love these knobs. I love that they fit the piece perfectly. They're still in really great shape so I just scrubbed them up and added a new coat of spray paint. Now that we've got the peel and stick wallpaper on the back, it's time to nail the backing into place. This hutch had a really cute light that went into the top of it and it still was in perfect working condition so we decided to reinstall that. I 
I wanted to show you guys how we stage our pieces out in our garage with minimal space. Don't judge my messy garage, but I just had to show you all how you can still do this and stage your projects really well, even if you have a minimal space to do it in. So in my defense, I do have a very big custom order that we're working on this week, so it's taken up a lot of space. But in the meantime, I had to get this cabinet done. So I paint the cabinet and I cover my back wall with some plastic while we do that so we don't ruin it. And then we take that plastic off and stage our pieces right in front of the wall to take its final pictures. So here's the hutch that we started with. And here is our final result. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week and we'll see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade.